I mean, ledge trapping kind of sucks. Oh, he is playing DK. Yeah. Okay. So, percents are like 72%. He starts dying. Yeah, I think that's what he's more looking for. Like, sure, you can take a lot of damage. You don't have to ledge guard him well. You just got to get those big hits. The few hits that you need. And then if he loses neutral at the wrong time, he's dead. Yeah. A really big part of this matchup, especially against Don, is going to be either reacting or reading a monkey flip. Right. Because Don's monkey flips are very, like, prevalent in this matchup. Whoa. When he plays me and JoJ, who also, like, when they play Donkey Kong, mm -hmm. like that right there, it's really hard to get around. Right. So I think he's in percent. Well, that was yeah. a good, um... Uh, I want to look it up. Good, good option from Nerf. Holding back his oh, up he's so he's... Oh, he oh. missed his jump. What an idiot. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what that, a nerd. That stinks. Hey, he's not in percent anymore. So he's got to fish for something. Jab, reverse, up tilt. Uh, oh, that was a... Down smash is actually really fast. Which is... Inherently. Oh. Okay. Yeah. He just neutral get up right onto the banana. He's not so. dead because we have E. Oh, he grabbed the banana. Okay, it starts at 75 and it ends at 96 with 0% rage. Yeah. Forward air for momentum. Ooh! Oh, hey, that, oh that'll big take fan. Sock. Doesn't need, oh, uh, big fan of Miss Tex. He does not need that percent ju uh, if you just see All right, so his percent people. went down, like, what, 12%? So that's, like, 62. Let's check. It's pretty low. Yeah. When he's got, like, a shit ton of rage, 57 you just gotta be careful, cause you know. So that's from I mean, He doesn't need to. Like really, he's. So the trick with like percents when Donkey Kong has rage, it's kind of like really hard for Donkey Kong. Like you shouldn't expect to get ding dong, right. unless you have a really big range. So like in the Diddy Kong matchup, his range when he's at 150 percent shrinks to like a four percent range. Right. So it's like super hard to grab someone in that range. That was a good up tilt from FC. The only difference is is it's really easy to reset and it's really easy to rack up damage into their ding dong percent when you get your next stock. Right. It's really useful to have more than one stock in this game. Ooh. Oh, that's Ooh, that cheese. The mistech into the accidental should be. That sucks, right. but. Game one for Jeremy. I will say he was doing a pretty solid job. Not really, you know. He was getting. He, he caught got on the monkey flips. Uh, not easy. I don't know who it is then. <laughs> Gave me practice, which means that was during the Lucas. So who else plays Lucas? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, All right, so game two, run back right to Smashville. Yeah. Fun trying to stop using. Oh, <laughs> what a manly four. Oh man, I love hit lag. He stopped using. Uh, he stopped spamming monkey flips as much, which is good. Right. Because that's. If uh, Nerf doesn't have to worry about that as much anymore, then he's got a much easier time in neutral. He still loses to like forward air, back air, aerials in general, banana, most of Diddy things. But there's there's quite a few tricks, oh. and he just got fucked. Yeah, that's there's quite a few tricks though. So if he has banana on ledge for trapping, get up attack goes around it. Oh really? Yeah, because he like arches over. But you still have to di forward, so it's kind of predictable right. if they know. Uh, also, if banana's laying on the ground and you do grounded up B, and it it leaves it right. Yeah, it clanks with the banana and you're lagless out of it. Wow. I know Jeremy knows these things because I've told him. <laughs> well, right now, Diddy's at kill percent, so if he wants to, yeah, you know, have a neutral. pretty good chance, he wants to like, you know, really bring us back. He needs to get that sock off ASAP. Yep. He's doing and a good job of avoiding those down airs. He's in ding dong percent, yeah. but it's not gonna last for very long, and he's out of it. Rip. Now he's gonna win in neutral. Which sucks. So I wonder if um, there's, the, there's the get up attack. Went around banana. I wonder if where when he, you know, if uh, DK he like jumps into DK's up B semi purposely in order to raise his percent so that he's not in ding dong range as uh, anymore. Uh, that's pretty smart and that's really useful for people that have like big ranges like Sheik yeah. that get raged a lot. Uh, but as far as dunk back there, oh, let's go. That? We ness. But as far as like people that have like medium ranges. When you're at that kind of rage, there's already only like a 6% range. Mm -hmm. Or like a 6% left until you're out of range. All right, that was bad. He should have nared. He should have reacted to the DI in. But he's uh, back he's, here. He's played right, defensive for one, one. not die. Um, so what like things could he have done better since you know DK well? Like, 
Well, after losing the first stock, it's pretty hard because that means he can never reset his rage, mm -hmm. which means he has to keep Don in Ding Dong percent twice, or get him there and like hit a grab in that range twice. Right. And that's a lot of neutral that you have to win to get there. I know it sounds easy because like Don Kong's like, oh, you get three grabs, right? But even if like they're in a weird percent or you don't read the FDI correctly, that grab does nothing almost. It'll it'll be like ten percent, right? right. Uh, the only thing I don't like is he's not using. Oh, there he goes. Jab is really useful in this matchup. So for most matchups, a lot of people stay grounded against Donkey Kong for some reason, and I don't know why. Um, but that's when like the shield pressure and the down tilts come into play. Right. As far as Diddy, he's gonna be like forward airing and pressing with banana a lot, and jabs, clank with banana, get rid of it, and they stop monkey flips. Oh, nice. Uh, if you're like if you're like far enough away. I will so say. jab in this matchup is super useful. And, and he's dead. Oh. He's in percent now. Was he, He's uh, fishing for a pivot grab. Him? He's making a 2 though. So. Don so, cut on. I will say he knows his lot. Is um he's re uh, Nerf is really good at um avoiding these down airs. Like you know, just holding back it a little bit seems to be getting it on every time. Yeah. So he has been hit by a down air except for the one time he got hit with Banana first. After DK's like initial uh like up B direction because you can go left or right initially and yep. then you get like a really nice drift. Which is super useful in matchups where they get down downers like Diddy Kong or Falcon or Cloud even. Right. Where that's like a real problem. Alright, nice back, back air and neutral. Let's go. Not even neutral. That was that was more disadvantaged. So like you said, this is a good position for DK to be in, which is one stock up. Yep. Uh he's got it space he's got its banana space correctly where get up attack shouldn't go around it, like he should still get tripped by yep. it. Like you uh right. That's a really there. good spot dodge. So the problem that I have in this matchup that Jeremy doesn't seem to be having is I react to the monkey flip. Ooh, sick. Oh, that was nice. Ooh, he's going for the rear grab. Ooh, that, he could have he could have just won there. That was close. Uh, the problem I have is I react with shield right. instead of spot dodge, but Jeremy seems to be reacting to spot dodge pretty often, which is super nice for this matchup. So he's like a pummel away from ding dong percent. Not even. He's actually in ding dong percent. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Oh, he fucked up his jump again. That's twice, Jeremy. He's choking. Now he's got to win in neutral or reset. Now he's got to make a decision here. So he's in percent. So we can play this out. All right. So yeah. now he's in percent again. Nice. So this is like a good position because Dreamland is the same height as... Uh... Ooh, that was really close. All right. He's really close. Ooh. He's reading monkey flips. That's smart. He's spot dodging a lot, which is also smart. And right, that's game. it. Alright. 2-1 for Nair. I wonder if uh, Don will switch. Because I know he doesn't play this matchup against my Donkey Kong. He switches to Cloud. Yeah, I might see a switch. I mean, considering how well Nerfin is doing, too. Yeah. He was doing really well against it with... Uh, or, like, he was doing well against me and JoJ last week. Uh, with Diddy. Oh, he's staying Diddy. It's got a smaller range. And it's, like, a more tricky neutral. Mm -hmm. But Jeremy seems to know the matchup pretty well, and he's catching on to the monkey flips, and he's reacting the way he's supposed to be. So how do you feel about this stage pick from Don? Uh, I don't like it. I think FD is Donkey Kong's like second best stage, because you have nowhere to run. When you're in Ding Kong percent, having platforms is super useful, because right. you can platform camp until you find an opening, right? Mm -hmm. But on FD, you got nothing. You can't run. Right. I don't know how it is for Diddy. Like, I don't know... Well, what? I guess his like idea might be oh, like yes. it's also easier for um, DK to like have trouble getting down. And he's dead. Right, that's one stock. Oh, nice. You were saying? Uh, I I I would think that like maybe he picked that because like it's also harder for DK to kind of get away. He doesn't have platforms to retreat to himself, so that's you know he's that's got true. ledges and he's got you know maybe he can up even maneuver, but that's about it. That's true. It feels like Don is like losing neutral though because of the yeah. way that Jeremy's playing. Yeah. Is the get up attack. See how useful that is? All right, he gets a grab off banana. Usually you can't get anything or you can't confirm anything. Uh, but he was at low percent, so he was like he was fast enough for the knockback was Gucci. That was a, that was a risky uh, dash attack. Oh, that was a good spot dodge. See, he's just like using spot dodge a lot, which I love, and he's like using pivot grabs a ton, which is super useful. Jeremy's playing this really well. He's like 10% away from ding dong percent. Uh, oh, he's not dead. Okay, so he starts at 57, I believe. Ooh! Oh, that's the magic number. Magic number. Oh, oh my god. Okay, okay. It doesn't matter at this point because rage doesn't change oh. anything. So he's still in percent. All right, all right. He's reset, so now he's like 20% away. 
All right, cool. Start to hit 75 yeah. at zero, and it's super nice on FD. Once you get somebody in ding dong percent range, playing neutral is like it changes it. It like it warps almost. You become a lot less yeah. defensive. You don't throw out any hitboxes. Your mindset changes. Like there's almost like a weight lifted off. Because now you're like, oh, now I, all I need is a grab, right? Oh yeah. All right, he's uh he's like two pummels away from being a percent. Monkey flips away. That's smart. It's nice to monkey flip when uh, you're on ledge like that because Donkey Kong can't really react when he's that close to a monkey flip. When he's like farther away like that. All right, so he's like one pummel. Ah, right. uh, is that out of range or is he? Uh, I think he's out of range, yeah, because he's got 50% rage. So he's got to win in neutral right now, which is like a little difficult, but he's been doing pretty well. This might be where Ooh. Don's counter pick comes into play here. All right, Jeremy's starting to use jabs, which I hope he continues to do. Because I don't know if he understands yet how like good that is. All right, he's charging. Don should not let him like free charge that. Yeah. Because that's like one of his best ways to win after that people are out of being done. Percent. Don Kong's neutral and like kill ability isn't garbage, but his ability to get it is kind of bad. All right, that was tricky. Oh, nice back air. He's gonna go for another one. I hope. Ooh, down tilt. That was smart. Ooh, another one. Oh, Third just one. Not letting these uh, monkey flips get All right, to that's stage. free damage. So he's in like up tilt percent at like any point of the up tilt, which is super nice. I guess this so is where he the jab versus up, up tilt comes out, right? Yeah. He doesn't even need a jab. If he just hits with up tilt, which I don't know if how comfortable Jeremy is. I use it way more than he does. Right. Because I think it's busted. <laughs> I mean, it's so good. It's so fast. It's like an yeah. unexpectedly fast, it's also, strong move. It's also a very large arc. He's using up air. That's also smart. Back airs. Basically, just throw out all the busted hitboxes. Yeah. All right, this is a very important ledge. Ooh, Don's just giving up ledge. Oh, if he up tilted there, he should just up tilt. So his best, like, he's probably either looking for a back throw as well, because he's in back throw percent. Right. All right, Don's got him in a weird position where he can probably, Jeremy can probably safely get a normal get up. That's a regrab. Yo, let's oh, go, Donkey Kong. Job. All right, that was close. That was close. I definitely uh, can respect that. He did. A good, he almost made it back. It, it really seemed like that he was yeah. the way he tried to jump He's really good with his up from it. I noticed this a lot. But when he can um, double jump to the ledge, he'll double jump up to it, but still drift back and just up to it instead. Yeah. Is there like a reason for that? Uh, mixing up timings plus the up is a lot safer than your double jump because it's intangible. Right. Uh, especially against characters that don't punish that. So like Ike would punish that really hard, so you wouldn't want to do that. Your double jump's safer against the Ike matchup. Right. But. Okay, uh, but when it comes to like something like Diddy Kong, uh, he's not really gonna punish you too too hard off of your up B. Right. Especially when you're that close to ledge. Uh, he can get like banana down air, but it's the same situation if you're double jumping or up being to ledge. Right. I see you lie last pick. What do you think about uh, this? I one? like this pitch. I okay. So if Jeremy picked this, I don't like it. Yeah, uh, he picked it. Lilac's really awkward. Uh, you can do some funky stuff on it though. I don't think Jeremy does, because you can do like um, invincible uppy, lagless get up on ledge, uh, which is way easier and way more useful than like slap canceling. Right. And if you can do slap canceling, just go for it, because you know that's cool. Ooh, okay. So Jeremy's catching on with his pivot grabs. I like it. He's still not using jab, which I think is really important in this matchup. He's doing fine without it so far, like he's gotten to game five, but. I'd prefer that he use it more. Also, up tilting uh, at the end of that last game would have been way smarter. Right. Don doing what nerfed it last game, but with like Diddy Kong down tilts. All right, so Don's covering. He's being more aggressive on ledge options, which yeah. I think is good. Ooh, he's not in Diddy Kong percent yet. Uh, he's like uh, two pummels away, I think. Nice. He's um. Right, I, I like, like how you're. He's like a pummel away. Yeah, I like how knowledgeable you are about the like percent stuff. I hope uh All right. is that yep. Ooh, nice. So he's got rage, which is super nice. What I like to do here is I like to up B, because that's it throws out the super armor to get rid of their invincibility. Oh uh, yeah, like, enough, that was a fantastic up B to avoid the down air. I looked away. <laughs> <laughs> he he, he, he was, was going better. towards the ledge and then stalled right See, in front of him and then hit that's him. That's where it. that's where the up B is a lot better than your double jump because it clashed with banana and it just got rid of it, right? So it's it's like it's a safer option. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't exactly remember what he chose. All right, so he's reset, so it's back to original percents. Oh, there's the up tilt. 
Was that like the first one? This I still like set? jab a lot better than up tilt, but all right. Up tilt on Lilat actually is super good. I never even realized that. Oh, no! oh, uh, Jeremy fucked up. That was I. I respect the attempt to just forward here. He's bad, but... dude. I do that all the time. Because if you hit that forward, that would have been 